Brandon Hodd. How are you, Brandon? Rob, good to hear your voice. Good to hear yours as well. You know, after watching the piece that we just did, this ball club getting ready, I tell you what, you look like you have a major league outfield. And I know this team is still quote unquote rebuilding, but Mullins, Mancini, Hayes, Santander, McKenna, Stewart, those are the solid major leaguers in that outfield competing. No, it is. And, and you know, it's three guys in, in Mullins, Santander, and Hayes, the guys that are starting today, that now have played together for a little while. They've been proved every single year. You know, Santander was was hurt, was banged up last year. Tried to play through it, but uh, you know, I thought Austin and obviously Cedric took huge steps last year in improving. And it's nice to be able to to play with some guys that you've been playing with for a while. And and those three guys have come up together now. And and uh, you know they're they're getting better and better. You know, I guess one of the biggest questions for every major league team is the rotation. Have you seen enough from these guys uh, to be confident in them to give you some quality innings? Well, we've tried to build up as many guys as possible. You know, we had a really short spring training, a three-week spring training. We have a lot of rotation question marks, and so it was, bottom line was trying to evaluate guys in three weeks, have them throw as many innings as possible. So when we go into the season, that we're able to cover innings. Fortunately, they expanded the roster to 28 teams. I know or 28 players. I know 30 teams wanted that. Um, but I think everybody's in the same boat where. Our starters aren't built up to like a normal spring after a normal spring training. They probably missed two or three starts. And so, you know, you're seeing starters go a little bit shorter, especially these first couple times out. We try to build up like eight, nine guys um, in the hopes of trying to probably do some piggyback situations where we can bring a, a starter in after a starter to try to try to uh, cover some innings. That's all it's down. Before we get to the prospects, uh, the club signs Rugnet Odor to come help out with his veteran uh, leadership. How does he uh, add to this ball club? Well, Rugi, I've seen Rugi play quite a bit over the years. You know, Rugi's a good player. Um, he, you know, he got to a slow start in spring training, but really swung the bat well the last few days. Um, he's a veteran presence. He's a guy that's been around for a while. He's been on, been on some good teams, good, good Texas teams early in his careers with the Yankees last year. He knows what, what winning's all about. He knows how to win. Uh, so to add him on our roster, and uh, we felt like it was a big deal to, to have some veteran leadership on the field. Now you spend a lot of time in Florida. You're coming back. It'll get warm. I got to ask you this question, the most important question. How's the golf game? <laughs> golf game was pretty solid up until <laughs> spring training started, and then my, my bag's on the truck right now going to Baltimore. So I'm hoping to pick it up, uh, hit some balls when I get back up there. But, yeah, it took a little... Took a little breather watching this master highlights, watching the Masters yesterday. It got me the itch again, so I need to get back out there. Well, I'll tell you what, my game has been playing like you're going to DFA me lately. But thanks a lot, Brandon. <laughs> oh, trust, there's a lot of times I want to DFA myself. <laughs> Good luck this year. Thanks a lot for your time, Brandon. All right. Thanks, Rob.